Hello guys, welcome to Soft Sports TV. My name is Soft Sasapi and you can call me Soft. Why not? Life is so hard, yeah? Just keep it soft. And I'm here with my brothers right now. I've got Handy, I've got Eversam, and we're here to talk about the AFCON, that's the African Cup of Nations, and it's going to be happening in Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. And we're talking today about um, the preview for the AFCON, um, the teams to look out for, and the players to also um, watch out for. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be difficult. Um, but... Um... Ivory Coast, I think they are well equipped. They've got the home crowd, they've got the talent, they've got the team. And um, they've been underachievers for years. But I think for the past one year or thereabouts, they've actually looked very solid with a combination of uh, emerging talent and very experienced players in the rank. Their centre-back pairing, it's, um, it's a pairing that a lot of European clubs or a lot of European countries will be dreaming to have. I mean, having a Dika and Diamond as a centre back pairing. It's not something. Yeah. It's not something. Bully's you have and you have um, Bully is on the bench. Yeah, Bully is on the bench um, too. Yeah. Fire Leverkusen on the bench as well. So, and for Afcon, one of the um criteria for winning that tournament is having always your defence. Defence. So yeah. Ivory Coast for me, um, with the home support, it's probably slightly my favourite ahead of Senegal, and okay. then there is Morocco as well. Before we can now throw the fourth spot open mm. with a little bit of sentiment there, <laughs> <laughs> we just slot in Nigeria. <laughs> well, well, the sentiment, the sentiment there is valid because we have the best player in Africa at the moment. So you can, Absolutely. you can, you know, believe that he can carry the team on his shoulder. Okay. So what's the what what's the fifth one now for you? Uh, the, the fifth one for me will be Egypt. Um, Egypt because. They are a tournament nation, let me put it that way. They are one country that might not be so exciting to watch during qualifiers at the World Cup. But when it comes to AFCOM, they've got this thing about AFCOM. They also, they, I think they understand what winning AFCOM is. Just like we talked about the Ivory Coast defense, they have a very solid defensive unit, which is always a very important unit. And then when you are defensively very solid and you have Musala up front, you always have a chance. I think the Mosala factor might be another very strong why um, Egypt will probably be the fifth country in my, in my book. Well, I agree with you. You know, Egypt, they are like the Real Madrid of African football. So the way Real Madrid is to the Champions League, that's what Egypt is. It doesn't matter the team they take to the um, competition. They always have that. They're always and ready. They, they find a yeah. way. They, they don't really have individual stars that much, sure. but they find a way yeah. to to work in proper cohesion, cohesion. and teamwork and win. Yeah. 